Pastor Paul Teske has over 40 years of ministry experience as a church planter, senior parish pastor, Navy chaplain, and seminar speaker. He has ministered in over 60 countries and has appeared on numerous television and radio shows. He has collected over the years a wealth of knowledge and understanding about kingdom work in different areas of ministry and now makes himself available as a mentor to impart wisdom into those who seek his counsel. If you're at a place in your life where you need wisdom, invest a few minutes of your time and watch Rev Up with Rev. Welcome to Rev Up with Rev. I want to share with you some thoughts from my heart that may be helpful for you. I want to talk to you for a few minutes about your position under Christ today. If you look at the uh, New Testament's account of the, of the resurrection, you find that at the cross, when Jesus died for the sins of the world, there were only a few women and one disciple, John, that was present. Then three days later, at the empty tomb, primarily it was women that came there, Peter and John eventually made it, but the bulk of the disciples were still hiding. And then for 40 days after the resurrection, Jesus schooled and trained and, and met with his core group. And then at that 40 day period, he ascended to heaven. He went back to heaven, which means that God put him back on his throne and gave him back the authority that he originally had, all authority over all creation, all the universe, every demon, every marriage, every job, everything was under his authority. And then 50 days later, the Holy Spirit's poured out at Pentecost on the church, and the church goes from inside the upper room to the outside. And here's what I want you to understand. The early church did not live in front of the cross. They didn't live at the empty tomb. They didn't live looking up into heaven when he ascended into heaven. They lived under the throne with the power of Jesus Christ at work in their life. That's why it says in the last two verses of Mark chapter 16, and these are key verses, the last two, 19 and 20, it says, Jesus ascended to the right hand of the Father, where he was put back on that throne and given all authority over every demon, every disease, every marriage, every job. And the disciples went out, listen, the disciples went out and Jesus worked with them, confirming what? The message with signs, wonders, and miracles. They did not live in front of the cross at the empty tomb, uh, at the uh, Mount of Olives, at the Ascension, they lived under the throne. It was like they had one hand on the throne of Jesus and the other hand on, on, the, on the people. And the power of God flowed through them, confirming the message with signs, wonders, and miracles. So, my expectancy is every time I preach and teach that Jesus is going to confirm the message with what? Signs, wonders, and miracles. Why not? Why would he not confirm his message? Sometimes the deterrent to that is our inability to let God use us as people of faith to release what he wants to re release through our ministries. So where should you position yourself? You position yourself under the throne of Jesus Christ with his name and his authority. It's not your name, it's his name. It's not your authority, it's his authority. But he gives you that gift, the power of his name, to release his authority into a broken world for restoration, for healing, for deliverance, for salvation, for all good things. Where do you position yourself? Under the throne of the risen Lord. Amen? Thanks for taking the time to watch our weekly Rev Up with Rev. If you have a topic question, please email us at info at paulteske.com and we'll respond by blog, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, check out our website at paulteske.com. God bless and have a great day.